Well, we've trained the dogs to detect a number of different diseases over the last 13 years, including prostate cancer, bladder cancer, Parkinson's and malaria. So we have a really good pedigree, if you want to call it such, in being able to detect new diseases. It depends on the um, availability of samples and how uh, difficult or easy the, the detection is, so how much of an odour the virus does have. But yes, six weeks should be uh, sufficient in order to train these dogs, get them out actually um, working and, 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 and finding this disease for real. L'objectif c'est d'essayer de donner 50 compresses donc à nos partenaires pompiers de manière à ce que les chiens puissent s'entraîner suffisamment pour avoir une base, une palette de données la plus large possible. Now, a dog could screen, a team of five dogs could screen four and a half thousand people in a day, targeting those individuals that need to quickly be tested and go back into isolation, perhaps because they're asymptomatic super spreaders. This is what can be really concerning. Additionally, the dogs could also walk at, work at points of entry, for example. A flight coming in from northern Italy, a dog could have been screening people coming off the flight and, and indicating those people that need to be tested and, and isolated immediately. This could really help reduce the rate of spread and also to understand perhaps how the spread is occurring. Thank you.